What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a neon styled Twitter header or YouTube banner. So starting off, you obviously have to have your header template. The size of a header is actually 3000 by 1000 pixels, and I put the resolution on 300 just so we can get the best resolution possible. And um, I will also leave a link to this quick pack that I made. That will be in the description down below. Basically, in the quick pack, uh, you guys know what they are. If I do a tutorial, I'll release a quick pack with it, and that will give you... Uh, quite a few of the things that helps with the tutorial basically so uh, it will have some of my CC's from my CC pack and just things like that so starting off you do need a plain black header image so I've just got a plain, ba uh, plain black background right now and um, I'm just gonna go into my quick pack uh, where it says main image close just press the eyeball icon on that and that will close and then just open up where it says pack and that will actually open it all up once you've done that, just go into the textures folder, so enable textures, and then just click on the texture one, and then just drag and drop that into your header, and as you can see, it should be the right size, uh, just align it up to your size, and you can press control minus, and then change, uh, holding down shift, you can make this a little bit smaller, or bigger, depending on what you like, so I'm just going to leave it as that, and then hit enter on my keyboard, and as you can see, we have this black background already done, and uh, yeah, that's the first step. The next step is to go down here to the adjustments layer, select uh, brightness and contrast. Once you've done that, you then want to change the brightness to minus 5 and then up the contrast to around about 12. And then once you've done that, you can just exit out of that box, go back to the adjustments layer once again, and then this time hit exposure, which should be up here. Once you're on exposure, just change the top one here down to minus 0.36. And then once you've done that, you can then exit out of that box and you have done with the adjustments layer. After that, now I'm just going to make a brand new layer once again. Grab my brush tool and put the size on around about 1000 pixels. Make sure you've got the 0% hardness brush and your foreground color over here is just a plain black color. Once you've done that, then just press Ctrl minus on your keyboard to zoom out. And then using the brush tool, just add this brush effect. Um, on the sides of the picture, but leave that middle part, don't uh, color that in, and then once you've done this, just lower down the opacity of this to f around about 38%, so I'm going to put it on 38% there, and then I'm going to make a brand new layer once again, and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to cover as much of the picture itself, and then once you've done that, then you want to change down the opacity of this to 10%, and then make a brand new layer once again, do the same black uh, lighting effect and just add a smaller one this time and lower down the opacity of this to 10% as well. After you guys have done that, you can then start with the text. Um, I'm not going to bother doing my text and stuff, so I'm just going to go and grab uh, the actual text thing that I made in Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, it's basically just a saw logo outline uh, for the saw RC. But you guys can go ahead, you can use any text you want. If you actually want the same text as this, the font is called Laz Enter. I will leave a link to this in the description down below, of course. And uh, basically, all you have to do, put the text on the picture itself. Uh, make sure it's centered by pressing Control H to make your uh, rulers visible. And then once you've done that, you then want to add the layer styles from my pack. So go back to my quick, uh, quick pack and then just open up where it says Layer Styles. Uh, you need to save both of these, so sa save style and also save style too. And then once you save them, it just back into your Twitter header template, and then it, you can now actually apply the layer style. So first of all, I need to apply the purple layer style to the uh, actual saw logo. So we're going to go to styles, and if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see your style that is just saved. And then uh, if you do want to change the color, you will have to go into outer glow. You will have to change the color here. You will also have to go into this drop shadow, change the color here, and also this drop shadow. And then once you've done that, you will be able to change your color. But I'm going to keep it at this pink, purpley color, and then just hit OK once you have done that. Then just go and add this second one, as you can see here, the red one. 
onto this part of the text it will depend if you're just doing normal text with this font then you can use whatever you want but I'm just showing you as this as an example and then once you've done that just hit OK and as you can see there the text is already done and also the background once you guys have done that you then want to go back into the quick pack just open it up once again go into the group that's called lighting and then just drag and drop the one called epic lighting and then just like I said before drag and drop that into the actual picture itself put it on around about 7% you can maybe bump that up I'm gonna put that on 10% actually and as you can see it creates a really nice lighting effect and then after you've done that you want to make a brand new layer once again this time we're gonna get our brush tool uh, with the 1000 uh, size pixel brush make sure it's on the foreground color black and then this time just do the black edges once again but change the blending option to overlay and then just lower down the opacity of this quite a lot we're going to lower it down to 37 percent let's say and then uh, once you've done that you then want to drag and drop so go back into your quick pack and just drag and drop the smoke uh, picture itself so go grab the smoke icon and then just drag and drop that into your header and as you can see it just lights up the actual header itself a little bit more and it creates a really nice effect keep it on screen and also keep it on 10 percent but you can put it below all the lighting effects we just made so put it below this black lighting effect and also the epic light and uh, you should have the smoke there once you guys have done that you then want to make a brand new layer once again grab the brush tool keep it on the foreground color black obviously we have to have a lot of black lighting on this and all we're going to do is do that black lighting effect one more time I'll zoom in so you can see it and then once you have done that just lower down the opacity of this all the way down to 11% that will create a really nice effect on the actual header itself and now we're gonna go and uh, add a white on top of this picture so make a brand new layer change the foreground color to white and then just use your white brush tool and just hit at the top of the picture itself and this will create a really nice lighting effect and then once you've done that you can lower down the opacity of this to whatever you want I'm gonna put it down to around about 30% that looks good and then uh, once you have done that you then want to make a brand new layer once again this time grab the black brush tool and then just do what we did at the start do a uh, really thick line here so it covers a lot of the picture but leave out that centerpiece where you do have your text and then just to lower down the opacity of this to around about 20% and that will create a really nice effect once again and then finally just make a brand new layer uh, decrease your brush size to around about 290 that's good and just make the foreground color white and then just use your brush to hit random points on the header like this and then just change the blending option of this to overlay and as you can see that will create a really nice effect and another optional thing you can do like I did on this picture over here is actually um, grab the text here and just type in something else if you do wish but I'm gonna keep it like this just plain and simple I think it looks really nice and then a couple of final things we can do to this picture is just press ctrl J that will duplicate the group then pressing ctrl E on your keyboard that will merge all the layers into one single layer then if you press ctrl J once again you can go to filter blur select Gaussian blur hit, uh, put it on around about 4.9 hit ok and then just grab your eraser tool and just erase out the stuff that you do need on the picture so erase out obviously your text and then just random points and then once you have finished with that just lower down the opacity of this to 80% uh, like I said before merge both of these layers so press control on the one you just made control on the previous one and then just press control E once again to merge it and then finally press control J on your keyboard go over to filter select other and then go to high pass once you are on high pass change the radius to 9 pixels hit ok and then change the blending option over here to overlay and then now you can just lower down the opacity of this to around about 20% now finally what I am going to add is go back to my quick pack just grab the folder called CC's it will have all of the CC's you need just drag and drop that into the actual header itself and that will add all the final effects so it will uh, add more black on the sides and just give a more focus point on your logo or your text 
whatever really you did use and as you can see this header looks really really nice and it looks almost identical to this one that we just did create apart from the fact it's got more of a blur but I think it looks really nice like I said before but if you do have any troubles actually making this please be sure to put them in the comments down below and I will help you guys out as soon as possible. Anyways guys like I did say before hope you did enjoy the video this has been Visual or James and I'm out peace. No, no.